Today on insertions. I just missed. Uh, I missed impaling Andy, uh, despite my best efforts. But I did flatten Anthony. So, um, so with I had a lockup on the Orca a couple of times. We managed that. That was with Andy. Andy, yeah. And then we we slid further. To, or I let us slide further to the right than I would have liked got too close to that pier block. My intention when we got close in there instead of moving was to set Andy down by the litter. I think that's what the video will show. And we got closer to that pier block and I started to pick him up and Andy, or, uh, Andy pushed himself off the pier block with his foot, I think. Is that what happened? Yeah, I was just bracing myself. Should I not do that? No, absolutely. Do what you got to do, yes. And then picking up uh, Anthony on this Creamer suit evolution. I don't know that I articulated it very well. I, I remember saying something about we're right over the top of them. Well, what I meant was that we were, the ship was literally right over the top of them, so I started to lose sight of them. And um, there was too much tension. I let there be too much tension on the cable, so when we came back, he had drug Anthony over onto his back, is what it looked like to me. Yeah, I didn't think I had given the up. I was still trying to uh, pull up and manage the hoist, but did I get the up signal? I wasn't trying to pick you up. I okay, was, okay. I was trying to get us centered into the right area. Uh, yeah, I was just totally on me. No, it was uh, up front here, so that was some pilot. Uh, um, Copy, carry practice. Pilot flying there. We were trying to just stay in position. During that, just about four miles. The aircraft was kind of drifting forward and backward. You remember, Bill, when we were up on Baker, oh, that no, snow no, machine no, moved? Yeah. So it was the same kind of thing. I started to lose sight. Yeah. And on Baker, I just ran cable out as fast as I could. And yeah. I just didn't do that this time. So the tension on the cable was right. such that it drug Anthony over yeah. backwards. So sorry about that, Anthony. I signed the waiver. <laughs> Any other issues, you guys? When I was uh, yeah. coming to the floor for my first iteration, I slid too far towards you and was trying to get a, a right foothold to give you a good kick in the shin, so sorry about that. That was actually in the testicles, but that's okay. <laughs> they hang down that far, I see. Roger. For that uh, orca lockup, is there anything I could do to help manage no, that? I when it locked up and I had you move back in, I thought it was unlocked, so when I pulled you out again, it was still locked. And no, that that was strictly me. Andy, when you go out, do you put your hand on the floor to kind of drag your hand up three, four, as you come out back, your right hand? To runway three, three, Harvey. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, a lot of the guys will drag their hand on the deck as they come out, and that slows them down so they don't fly out the door. Yeah, I don't think we were flying. No, I mean, I mean, uh, no, when you're coming out on on Orca, so the Orca. App. Okay, I'll try that. Just the flight hand on the floor as the you west, come out. Uh, we'll we'll slow your airport at five thousand two hundred feet. Swing out. Bound simulated engine failure. You practice. I say I, I'll have it on film for digital or whatever. Well, I don't know. Who was it that kicked me in the shins and back touched me in the shins? It wasn't me, that was Oivan. I just tapped your foot. That was Miles. <laughs> who was it that kneed me in the groin twice? I want to know. That wasn't me, I just kicked you in the shins. Okay. How were the litter rotations? Good. 
I thought they went yeah. pretty smoothly. Were you practicing uh, tail um, on specifically, or was that for that particular? What we want when you're on that screamer suit, when you can, if you can, is to be at six o'clock, not at four thirty. Six o'clock down the tail. Yeah. Sorry for the uh, litter voice with Anthony. Were you wanting it over and over for the tail specific, oh. or was that because of the locale, or? Um, Bill. Oh, say again. Was there a reason for having it on the tail the whole time, or could you, in that location, have done it by the side as well? Uh, we could have. I just want to um, get that that foot uh, tag line. Kind of, I think that's going to be our primary, and then um, on the side will be our secondary. I just want everybody to kind of get I think used the to that. Work, the foot works better, I think so. That's kind of the impression I'm getting, but we still want the option of having it on the side. Okay, I copy. Yeah, it is. Some local shut the door and lock it somehow. Why I really like the foot is because when we're off on the side and I call the slide left, I, I'm over here on the right. I can't see what's over on the left. So the pilot on the left, he can clear that left side. It just makes me really nervous yeah, about sliding left because I can't clear it. But I know they can Thank look you. out front. It's also really easy to release the tagline. Yeah, yeah it is. You can just release it right, you know, bang, it's gone. That's another thing, you just want to make sure that when you release that thing, Thank you, you have a whole fresh uh, look down. 1103 one Echo is about two miles south of the airport. We have uh, flying overhead at 2,000 feet from uh, breaking left for left traffic. 3-3, uh, I correct. Yeah. Hello? You guys hear me? Yeah. Yep. I can't hear, hear myself, you. so uh, I didn't have any issues so any other rotations. You can't hear yourself talk? No, he can't. He also, must not hear us then. He can't. Can you hear me, Oivin? Bernie, say something. Oivin? Yeah, he can't hear. Uh, I got no radio. Is check that? Uh, let's see who's sitting behind me in the flight medic seat. Ernie is. Ernie, you can hear us, okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, I thought maybe that isolation. Switch. They're on a they're on a splitter right now, and in. Uh,